1995 Russell Hill subway incident was the deadliest subway crash in Canadian history that claimed three lives and injured 30 others. The incident occurred in Toronto, Ontario on Line 1, Young University of the Toronto subway on August 11, 1995 at 6.02 p.m. Having shut down the subway line for five days following the incident, investigators found that human error and design flaw in mechanical safety devices led a train to crash to a stationary train ahead of it. Second day on a job for rookie driver of Run 35. At 57 km per hour, the driver sped through three red signals before colliding with Run 34 ahead of it. But human error alone wasn't the only cause of the incident. A trip arm beside each red signal should have triggered the train's emergency brake system. Instead, a design flaw that had been lurking in the device for 18 years caused the arm to swing down as the train passed over, allowing Run 35 to proceed. This incident would have been avoided if the TTC had implemented better training for operators, such as extending subway operator training, enforcing stricter and harsher punishments for violating signals, and having a supervisor supervise rookie operators while on the job for the first couple of weeks. Other solutions include proactive maintenance measures rather than reactive maintenance to ensure a good state of repair, and assuring quality control of trip arms and other subway equipment, so that is routinely maintaining and upgrading tracks and sin signal equipment before failure, and critically test new technologies against safety standards before serving. Hence, the TTC demonstrated professional misconduct by failing section 72.2a, which is negligence. This means failure to take proper care as expected to be exercised among specified circumstances. They also failed section 72.2b, which states failure to make reasonable provision for the safeguarding of life, health, or property of a person who may be affected by the work for which the practitioner is responsible. An important law concept that arises is the tort law. Tort law is defined as the compensation of a party that has suffered damages as a result of intentional or unintentional wrongdoing. Contractual relationship not needed. Unintentional wrongdoing is simply negligence. Firstly, the operator was negligent for missing three red signals. Secondly, the TTC demonstrated negligence for lack of proactive maintenance, proper training, and lack of quality and testing control. Moreover, while the TTC may argue that they did not directly cause the incident, they hold vicarious liability. That is, if an employee commits a tort in the course of employment, the employer will be vicariously liable for the damage caused. Thirdly, the manufacturer of the train trip arms demonstrated negligence for their design flaw. The company can be viewed as a concurrent tort fester, which means that more than one party may be liable for a tort action. Tort law consists of three key principles, all of which TTC met. Before going into this, it is important to note that the defendant is the TTC and the plaintiff are the passengers, their families, and the public. The first principle states that the defendant owed the plaintiff a duty of care. Secondly, the defendant failed in that duty of care by simply neglecting proper maintenance of track equipment and improper training. And lastly, the defendant caused injury to the plaintiff as a result of 3 deaths and 30 injuries. The legal precedent that best illustrates this case is the Donoghue v. Stevenson back in 1928, where a decomposed snail fell out of a ginger beer in the Well Meadow Cafe. This best illustrates that manufacturers have a duty of care towards the final customer regardless of contractual relationship. 